Hello and welcome to another video guide from Grandstream Networks. In this video, we will explain how to manage the MAC address table and how to implement port security on a GWN switch. By the end of this video, you will have a good understanding of port security and how to use it to protect your network from unauthorized devices. The MAC address table consists of layer 2 addresses that the switch dynamically learns on each switch interface. When a switch receives a frame on a particular interface, it retrieves the source MAC address and stores it in the MAC address table together with the associated port number and the VLAN ID. The switch uses the MAC address table to efficiently forward traffic directly to its destination. Without the MAC address table, the switch would forward traffic out on all interfaces. For instance, the MAC address table of the following switch contains the learned MAC addresses, the associated port number and VLAN ID, the aging time indicates how long a dynamic MAC address remains in the MAC address table. If there is no traffic activity from a specific MAC address, the switch will automatically flush out the MAC address. By default, the aging time on GWN switches is 300 seconds. Now we will log into the web interface of a GWN switch to explain the settings related to the MAC address table. On the web interface, under Switching, click on MAC Address Table. Under Dynamic Addresses tab, you will see all the MAC addresses that the switch has dynamically learned together with the associated port number and VLAN ID. When a device gets disconnected from an interface, the switch will remove the MAC address entry for that device after the aging time, which is 300 seconds. If you decide to disable the aging of dynamic MAC addresses, you can enter the value 0. When aging is disabled, the switch will maintain all the MAC addresses for as long as the switch does not reboot. To retain a dynamically learned MAC address across a reboot of the switch, you can change it to static. To do that, select the MAC address and click on Add Static MAC Address. To view the list of static MAC addresses, click on the next tab. To add a static MAC address, enter the MAC address, VLAN ID, and the associated port number. It is important to note that a static MAC entry overrides a dynamically learned one. For instance, if a static MAC address is manually assigned to the wrong interface, the device with the MAC address will become unreachable. Always ensure that the device with the static MAC address is connected to the correct interface. Black Hole Addresses tab is used to block traffic from specific MAC addresses. For example, if you notice malicious traffic from a specific source MAC address and you want the switch to block it, simply click on Add and enter the MAC address and the VLAN ID. When a black hole entry is manually configured, it never ages out. You can only delete it manually. The Port Secure Addresses tab displays the list of MAC addresses that have been added manually or learned dynamically on the interfaces that have port security enabled. Port security is a mechanism that is implemented to control what devices are able to connect to a switch interface. On GWN switches, port security can be configured to restrict access to a specific MAC address or a group of MAC addresses. It can also be configured to limit the number of devices that can connect to a specific interface. The administrator can explicitly define the MAC addresses of the devices that are allowed to use a switch interface. If an unauthorized device tries to connect, the switch can be configured to discard the traffic from the unauthorized user and simply shut down the interface. In this example, the Gigabit Port 7 is configured with a secure MAC address, which is the MAC address of the IP phone and access is limited to only one MAC address. When an unauthorized user tries to connect to Port 7, the switch will discard the traffic or shut down the interface depending on the applied protective action. To implement port security on a GWN switch, or ensure it is enabled globally. To apply port security to a specific interface, click on Edit and toggle this option. By default, only one MAC address is allowed on each interface when port security is enabled. You can adjust this value to set the maximum number of MAC addresses that port security allows on an interface. It only limits the number of devices that can connect to an interface it does not retain dynamically learned MAC addresses during a link down or a reboot. If you need to restrict access to specific MAC addresses, you can enable sticky MAC option or manually enter the MAC addresses under secure MAC addresses. 
Sticky Mac is a feature that allows the GWN switch to retain and store the MAC addresses that are learned dynamically. Basically, when Sticky Mac is enabled, the switch converts future and existing dynamic MAC addresses to secure MAC addresses. The Sticky Mac addresses are not affected by a switch reboot or link down state. In this example, with Mac's number option set to 2 and Sticky Mac enabled, the switch will retain the MAC addresses of the IP phone and computer A. If you unplug computer A to replace it with computer B, computer B will not be able to connect because the switch is configured to allow only two MAC addresses and only the MAC addresses of computer A in the IP phone. The switch can be configured with a protection action when a port security violation occurs. For example, when the number of connected MAC addresses exceeds the MAC's number or an unauthorized MAC address tries to connect. There are three protective actions. Some protect mode will only discard the traffic from the unauthorized MAC addresses. It does not report the violation. Restrict mode will discard the traffic from the unauthorized MAC address and causes the violation counter to increment. If you look at ports one and two, restrict mode has a violation counter after the slash. For protect mode, which does not report the violation, the value after the slash is always zero. Shutdown mode will shut down the interface and cause the violation counter to increment. Let's select shutdown mode for this interface. By default, when a port security violation occurs, the interface will not automatically recover after being shut down. The interface must be enabled manually by the network administrator under port basic settings. If you want the interface to be restored automatically after a time period, you will need to enable port auto recovery for port security violations. We explained earlier how Sticky Mac converts dynamically learned MAC addresses into secure MAC addresses. This tab displays all the secure MAC addresses that have been learned by the switch together with the type and the associated port number. If you need to add a secure MAC address manually, click on Add enter the MAC address, VLAN ID, and the associated port number. An important thing to note is that when port security is enabled on an interface, you cannot configure a static MAC on that interface under MAC address table configuration page. Instead, use secure MAC addresses configuration page. Under this page, you can add, edit, or delete secure MAC addresses. The entries that you define under this page can also be viewed under Switching, MAC Address Table, Port Secure Addresses. This concludes today's video guide about the MAC Address Table and Port Security. Stay tuned for more video guides about the GWN 7800 series.